used in Toxic. Oh, wait a second. There's some right here. Oh, nice. So something funny about this car. I picked up two of them one time, so I had to give one to my Pepe. The guy that I just showed you. They all the same? No, they're all different. Um, oh, look at this. Me and Martin already found this. I just said that for the video. Yeah, <laughs> yeah me and Homie found it. So we're just gonna look around a little more, see what we can find. That must Transformers sense. really hitting wrong nowadays. They really are. So you, you collect... Well, Gundam. You collect uh, Transformers? Yes, I do. I do collect on Transformers. So what did I always wanted to make a video on? Yeah, guys, I think I'm gonna pick up this thing. Yeah, Mustang, right? Yeah. 60s, but it looks like. Either that or it looks. Hey, what's going on, guys? And today we are going to be reviewing this 1967 Ford Mustang GT. As you guys guys just saw, I picked this up at Rite Aid or Walgreens. Um, it used to be called Rite Aid in my town. Um, with Amarian. Amarian actually picked up two Hot Wheels. Uh, I think it was a uh, um, Camaro and a ford something i think it was a 35 coupe um that he got and we're gonna go back tomorrow because they had that a kit car there from knight rider so i you know us collectors sometimes if we know that we're gonna go back we kind of hide our products that we want so i got this put that in a different spot a safe spot where hopefully it doesn't get taken i put it behind these um uh, I would I wouldn't recommend doing that at like Walmart, but at your small local stores it's probably fine. Um, so we've already done a review with this Mayesto uh, company a couple days ago with that Shelby car that we did. I did that review with Amarian. Um, he got the '69 Charger and I got that Shelby. So we already pretty much know what the packaging looks like. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open this thing. I can't do that on camera. So I'm alone this time, so. So here it is all out of the package. Uh, it's a 67 Fastback Mustang GT. Um, and this thing looks great out of the package. This is one of those times where I wish I had a turntable, you know? Like, this would be so much easier right now. <laughs> um... So under the hood, or first, I really like this silver paint. It looks a little bit different in person than it does on camera, but I really like this paint. It's got a little Ford uh, right there, and it's obviously got the Mustang logo there. And here, we've got the motor. Not as much detail as uh, the Shelby had, but that's all right. The doors do open on this one as well. You got a little GT logo on there. Both the doors open. It's the car from the back. And again, I cannot open this trunk. It looks like it does open though. You can see two little hinges in there. Uh, we got the Mustang taillights with a little GT gas cap, and then the license plate is GT289 from Illinois. Oh boy, what happened to this door? Look at this. There it is. It's fixed now. A little weird. Very nice car. I'm glad to have this in my collection. Um, so these, I think I might put them in a different... You know what? No, I'm not going to put them in a different spot because it's pretty much the same scale. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Shout out to... Oh, uh, crap. I forgot his name. But I'll put it up right here. You guys will be able to see it. And it'll pop up in the top right. Um, click on that. Ultimax. And that's uh, Amarian's YouTube channel. Should be posting on there soon. Uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye now.